multiplexing, CAN bus, J1939. All of these new technologies that we're trying to teach to our students. And it's difficult. What we did at Consolab is we developed our MP1918 multiplex CAN bus uh, trainer just to teach the fundamentals. We're not talking scan tool, we're not talking codes, we're talking about how does a multiplex network really work. And the beauty of the product is that here we've got it all wired up, but it's your students that wire it. They get to learn along the way and really create those circuits. So what can we do with this trainer when we're teaching to your students? We've got four modules, we've got all the wiring, and once the students have got it up and running and they start flipping switches and they turn on the backup lights and the brake lights and they get everything working and they've tested it and they know it works, we can put 12 different faults in the system. Broken wires, high resistances, uh, short between wires. I'm not going to get into all the details. We don't want your students to know about all the faults. But we do have faults in the end of line resistors that you can demonstrate to your students what happens when there's a break in the circuit. You'll notice on the product it's all wired with four millimeter banana plugs, but now we have two millimeter test points throughout the product. So this allows the students to diagnose and find the problem if the problem is between where the student wiring was and where the module connection is. We've also got two millimeter uh, test points at the data link connectors, both the Deutsch connector and the OBD2 DLC uh, to allow pinouts, to allow checking of the, the different signals. So with the system power down and turned off, we go in here we're going to get 60 ohms. Another really cool thing that we can show your students is how data is transmitted over the CAN bus. So I've got the engine control module here and I've got a cooling temp sensor and then up here I've got an instrument cluster and it's demonstrating to us the coolant temp. So if I change coolant temp sensor we can see instantaneously the change in coolant temp. And there's no direct wiring between the two. It's only communication wires. So it's easy to show your students how you could have multiple sensors giving inputs at one end, a couple communication wires, another module, and then have that data be useful for that module at the other end of the circuit. Part of the magic of this product is that we can do a comparison uh, between old school wiring and new school because we also have other 1918 products. We've got the truck one, we've got the car one, we have a motorcycle one and you can show standard wiring where all the wiring is direct between the control and what is being controlled, the load. So you can do a direct comparison between your students. You can ask them to compare how many wires it takes for one side of the board uh, with the standard wiring to control everything compared to a multiplex one. And they'll see that a multiplex system is much simpler uh, than old school wiring. Another thing we can do is we've got a complete curriculum. We've got over 100 pages of curriculum, exercises, lab activities for your students. Uh, and they can go through and build up the circuits and do exploratory diagnosis and learning. And they can even go so far as taking a oscilloscope like this one here and connecting up the oscilloscope. We're going to go into a simple lab scope and simply connecting up to a multiplex while the system is running. And we can see the multiplex signals on the CAN bus right off the bat. That easy. The product is available both single-sided and double-sided. And the most successful use cases are with two students per side. So you could have a team of students here and you could have a team of students on the back side. Now, today, I've just got the single-sided product. But you can see that you could have four students uh, working on the same product in a very small footprint. So if you want to add the Consolab MP1918 to your stable of tools, you can find out more at consolab.com or you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Thanks for watching.